I remember as a, I would say like grade six or seven, kind of military models were, I was, I was quite into those. And, um, there was a company called Airfix still around, of course. Um, but, um, it produced these miniature soldiers. So you can buy soldiers, you know, British soldiers, German soldiers, they had all different periods and histories. You can get Romans, you can get Napoleonic, you can get World War One, World War Two. Me and several of my friends would buy these. You didn't have to build them. You just sort of bought them and play with them. Warhammer, different story. I had heard of it. I'd seen it. Wasn't really into it at all. I wasn't interested. But one of my sons kind of heard about it. Thought he would try it. And I thought, oh, cool. I, I really cherish the times when we're uh, sitting together and painting. Doesn't happen very often. I mean, uh, life gets busy, and uh, but occasionally, usually at the cottage, we'll we'll sit around the table and we'll paint and we'll gab and that kind of stuff. And I like those things. I'm not big into the hobby in terms of the gaming and and you know meeting other guys and playing. I just like to play against my sons when they want to play. And the more opportunity I can get to do that, the better. Grade seven. I was talking, I remember that very clearly, I was talking with the art teacher and I was talking about building models and me and my buddies built models and, and did a lot of painting and and um, he said, well, you know, the grade, actually grade nine social studies teacher in the school, he makes wooden ship models piece by piece. And I said, oh, that that's just like the coolest thing. That's just unbelievable. Literally like the, that that week I went to a hobby store to, to see what they were like and these kits are expensive. So I figured, oh, no, well, that's it. I'm not, not going to be able to afford that for many years and, and my parents couldn't afford to buy that kind of stuff for me. So that was it. And in my mind, when I got to like university, I would start building wooden ship models because I could afford them then. I started reading novels about battleships having, you know, big battles at sea and cannons roaring. Then I eventually I started getting history books and started reading up on the, the, the battles and how they went and what the life was like back then. Everyone knew that I was totally just sort of besotted with, uh, with old sailing ships. And one of those people was my girlfriend at the time. And for Christmas, she bought me, uh, a kit and, uh, uh, real surprise, total surprise. And uh, so I was like in my 20s and hadn't bought a kit. And there it is. I had a kit and I spent all boxing week buying tools and all kinds of things. And this is it. I'm going to build this and it's going to be done in two years. And then I'm going to have, but you know, I'm going to be building models all my life. This is going to be fantastic. There I go. Every five and six. Going to university, you don't have all the time in the world to be doing this kind of stuff. So slowly and, and whatever it was, it was getting put together. Then well, I graduated, got work. I could work on it a little bit more, got married to the girlfriend who bought me the model. Um, well, you know, life, starting a career, buying a home, all those things take time. And, uh, so you don't all have all the time you want for this. The kids came. So <laughs> you have toddlers around the house. You can't leave anything that's breakable. So for years at a time, I never looked at it. And uh, because I kept a log of all my hours, there are, there are several five-year, six-year gaps. So I've had that model for 30 years, and I've, I'm finally at the stage where I can say, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. And um, um, it's, it's been in the last year that I've really, because I can, I've got a little workspace, I've also got disposable cash so I can buy lots of tools. So I've got lots of great tools to help me build this. By Christmas, this will definitely be done. Um, I'm hoping uh, before December hits that I'll, I'll be done this. Actually, I think I've, I've, I've kind of figured out. I, so I like models. Models are a miniature depiction of real things. There's something about miniature that appeals to me. 